So we're not in the office today for our Sunday Talks and Tips with Brandon. We are out here at Gordon Lake in Iowa Park, Texas. I got this in today. So let's open it up, take a look, try it out. If you're not a subscriber yet, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button down below and ring that bell icon so you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. So, I got this little Pop Voice PV510 Plus lapel mic in today. And I uh, haven't had a chance to open it up and try it out yet. So, let's check it out. We'll uh, see what's in here. Yeah, cute little bag. I guess your instructions. And your mic. It's little, isn't it? This uh, plug, let's see, has the adapter. This is a Let's see, one, two, three, and a two contact. I really don't know the details because I've never had one of these. Uh, with the four pin to three pin, excuse me, four pin to three pin adapter included. The mic will work on PC, laptop, desktop, and most recorders. Professional Lavalier Microphone, www.popvoice.us.com. So what do you say we hook this little bad boy up to the uh, phone because that's what I'm using for a recorder unless I'm close enough to the camera and then I'll use my Rode Mini Micro. But uh, let's give this a chance and see how well it sounds. If y'all are ready, stand by one. So we're going to walk down here and test out the water. Can y'all see that? There we go. Nice and focused. Here we are out here at Lake Gordon trying to catch a fish and checking out the new lavalier mic. That's not what this video is actually about. The video is actually about Sunday's talks and tips with Brandon. And what my tip is for this Sunday is uh, if you're going to take portrait or you know pictures of people have an idea of where spend the day going out and scouting for locations because nobody wants to call you up and say okay I want my pictures done and you say where and they say you're the photographer you tell me and granted some people may have something in mind which is great most of the time, unless it's bad lighting or something like that. Something kind of beyond your control, but a lot of things you can fix that with a few little tweaks on the camera. But have an idea where to take them. You're the photographer. You know, if, if find out what they like. If they like old stuff, then old buildings. I'm gonna put a few samples right here and y'all see what I'm talking about. If they like old cars, find some old cars that you have permission to take pictures of and for people to be around. Some people don't like folks being around their cars because they don't have enough respect not to lean up against the car. And if you spend as much money on cars as some of those people have, or in paint jobs, you do not want people scratching that car up. So anyhow, the main thing is to have an idea where you're going to take your people or where you're going to tell them to meet you. And remember, you need to select the time when possible. There's going to be some times where you're not going to be able to pick the time. They're only going to be available at a certain time of the day. But you know, your ideal time is, you know, a couple hours before it starts getting dark. 
when the sun is not so up and bright and blows everything out and makes your colors really uh, glare because it's so bright. You don't want that. So timing and location. If you're lucky enough to have all your lights and everything, to adjust the lighting, even outdoors, yeah, more power to you. But I don't have that luxury, not yet. I would sure like to try out some lighting, but further down the road, we'll test out some lights. But you know, for right now, I have the uh, little clip-on lights with the big clip clamp that hooks on to stuff, and those lights work. They may not look too professional, but hey, they work. But my main thing, what I was wanting to talk about, is have your locations picked out. At least a general idea. Maybe show them. A little bit of samples of what you had in mind. And they may say, mm, I don't really like that. I like more modern stuff. I mean, personally, I like the older looking stuff. Old wood doors and doorways and busted up brick and distressed looking wood. Things like that. That's what I really like. But you know, there's some people that want uh, more modern looking stuff, which is fine. But look around so you'll have an idea of where to take them or where to have them meet you. Just now cooling off out here. And it is after eight. But I saw the fish jump, so I had to give it a try. But uh, hadn't even got a hit. Well, my catch of the day, a stick. Pretty thin. I guess I'll uh, let that one go. I guess that's what you call catch and release. Let's move on. Just kind of looking at the sky. I don't know if y'all be able to see that. The uh, different colors in it and the orange and kind of looks like beams. I don't know if y'all can see that or not kind of cool if it shows up and I came over here to the other side of the lake to finish up this video and it's gotten a lot darker so I had an FD lens an FD lens is the mount from the old Canon AE-1 cameras they may have fit different cameras but I know it fit uh, Canon AE-1 so uh, this is the what you get with the old lens the bad thing is, it's not an automatic focus, so I'm hoping I am in focus. I believe I am. If not, please forgive me. If uh, you have the R mount cameras, like I have this Canon EOS R, and if you would have old Canon AE-1 lenses, the FD mounts, if you want to use them on your R, then you can buy an adapter. I will put a link down in the description to the adapter. In the meantime, on this mic, it, uh, we were talking about it, it's a six and a half foot cord. It uh, is quite lengthy, I doubt you can see that, but uh, that's what it is. That, that's still better than uh, earbuds, I think. I'm just hoping the sound quality is good. What do y'all think about the sound quality? Leave me a comment down in the comments and let me know what you think. Does it sound good? Does it sound like crap? <laughs> what? Anyway, the main thing today, oh, by the way, I will put a link to this mic down there in the description also. And these are affiliate links, uh, so which means they're from Amazon, and it doesn't cost you any extra to buy it through this link if you're interested in the item. And I'll make a few cents, hopefully. <laughs> so help support order through there and even if you don't want the mic and you find something else as long as you go through my link you can go buy some razor blade some underwear i don't know whatever you're interested in but uh i'll receive a small commission on that too so i'd really appreciate it it'd help out a lot especially right now since i need a new car battery I was out at Lake Buffalo fishing the other day and wound up having to walk about a mile to find somebody that had a battery cables, or jumper cables. So that was no fun, not in the 105 degree weather. 
So a new battery is in the near future. Help support the channel. Buy some stuff from Amazon through my link. I believe that's about it for today. Hey, before y'all leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell icon so you'll be notified of any new videos that are coming out. And we've got a video coming out in a couple of days that that was a pretty fun adventure. Don't miss that. Subscribe and hit that bell icon. Y'all keep on keeping on. We'll see y'all down the road. Bye.